Good morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lynn, and I hope that you had a wonderful Monday yesterday. Today is Tuesday, November 16th, 2021, and we are back to a day one. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you, as I always do, to participate in the Mindful Minute. Mindful Minute is a good way to get yourself to arrive at the here and the now. There's a lot of things that are stressing you out as a student, uh, even as uh, staff members, even, right? So, Um, If we get so caught up in all of those other things, we forget about those blessings that are happening right here and right now. And I know that I keep saying that, but our minds are just wired to almost kind of look past all the great things that are happening right here, right under our noses. So, you know, sometimes we just have to pause and just notice. So that's what I want to invite you guys to do right now. Okay, so let's arrive here at this moment. Use your eyes, scan your environment and you know, focus on something that catches your attention. Look at it, identify it. I'm looking at something rather large right now. I'm identifying its texture. In this case, kind of softish, uh, little ribs of, of cloth. Um, identifying the colors and in the the shadows that might come along. And you know what I'm describing here is a large kind of folded rectangular blanket, right, sitting right here on the couch. What are you looking at? Think about it. And did you notice it before or did you just now notice because you're finally paying attention? And that's the whole point of mindfulness, right? Noticing things that you know are there, but really truly being there and present with it. Use your ears for a moment and just pause and listen. What do you hear? You know, I'm I'm hearing noises outside from the window. You know, I didn't notice them before. Now I do. Take a breath in. What do you smell? I definitely can smell some food wafting up from dinner, right? Upstairs. I'm in the upstairs of my house here. And even though I'm not near the kitchen, some of the food smells are coming through. And finally, with your skin, what do you feel with your sense of touch? Right? Today, I'm, I'm wearing a suit. So it's not just my normal shirt. I'm, I, I notice that there's a little bit of heaviness with my coat. So, you know, I notice that. That's a little bit different than normal, right? And finally, let's just notice that we exist. Notice that uh, the chair or the couch that's holding you up is truly holding you up. I mean, really feel it hold you up, which also means, yeah, notice how gravity pulls you down, creating weight. I like to close my eyes. You don't have to, but use a technique that works for you that we have taught with you okay so um i'm going to use the smelling of the flower and the blowing of the candle Uh, you can use whatever other technique that we've taught and let's 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 get started okay go ahead and take that first breath in through your nose fill your belly full of air and then go ahead and blow out Did you notice your body settling in? Take another breath in. Notice the coolness of the air flowing in. Notice your belly expanding. And notice that moment when you stop breathing in and pause before you breathe out. Notice the warmth of that air as you let it out. Breathe in again. And breathe out. As you breathe in, breathe in and pretend it's like the first breath you've ever taken, like you're, you're, you're a brand new baby and how amazing that breath would feel. And as you breathe out, how amazing does your body feel experiencing that as if it was the first time you ever, ever experienced it. Breathe in again. And breathe out. Let your shoulders relax. Let the muscles in your back relax. Breathe in again. Breathe out. And as you get into rhythm of breathing, notice your feelings today. I challenge you to do that for once. You know, are you coming to school happy, sad, angry? Breathe out. Whatever those feelings are, don't get too worked up about them. Just just identify and know what feelings you have. Just kind of check them off. Breathing in again. And allow yourself 
to let those feelings be in you, be compassionate, try to understand those feelings, and then in due time, let it go. In a moment, you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter. And when you can't hear it anymore, you may then open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort, where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now, whether you have a great day or not, that's ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Go ahead and take a seat. Thank you for joining me. It's great. I know I didn't get to see anybody at the, in the cafeteria yesterday. I wasn't able to make it out there. But, you know, I really do enjoy seeing you guys. And I hope that I get to see you guys in the cafeteria, in the hallways, even in the classroom. And one of the things I'm really looking to see from you, not just for you to tell me, but I want to actually see it. That's being respectful, being respectful to others, being respectful to yourself, being respectful to your to the grown ups who are older than you, being respectful to your peers. You know, it's important, you know, just because your your classmates aren't older or younger than you doesn't mean you can't give them that respect. In fact, the more you give that respect, the more they'll return that respect back to you. This is just how it works. Think about it. If someone's respectful to you, how often are you more inclined? to be respectful back to that person. You know, this is how it works, you know? Do things that make you proud. Of course, do things that make other people proud. That, that's great, and a lot of times it's the same thing, right? Picking up trash is gonna make other people proud. It'll make you proud, too. So, But whatever you do, even if no one's looking, make sure you're doing things that when you look yourself in the mirror at the end of the day, yeah, you could point to that thing that you did and say, yeah, I respected myself by doing something that made me proud. That is a great feeling. And if you haven't had a chance to reflect on your day at the end of the day and make yourself proud of the things you've done during that day, I encourage you to do it. Give it a shot. You'll, you'll feel great. I promise you that. Also, show that you are responsible. Helpful hands, helpful feet, helpful words coming out of your mouth, right? You want to be, you, you, you want to to recognize that the things that belong to us are book bags and pencils and scissors, all of those things can be used in hurtful ways. It is your choice, going back to whether you have a great day or not, it's your choice to make that decision to use those items, your hands and your feet and your mouth, in helpful ways. Be a hero in somebody's life. You know what that's like. Spread your awesomeness. And finally, show that you're ready, ready to learn. Don't give up. I see that from you guys. I see it every day. I love it. Boys and girls, take a look at your at, at the teachers and, and the paras and, and even Mr. Lin. Because I want you to really pay attention to, to our lives too. Yeah, watch us. There are times when you're asked to do when when even grown-ups are asked to do things that might be a little bit different than they're used to, and they may not want to do it. And you know what? Watch them because our grown-ups here at the fort are really good at not giving up. Sometimes they're challenged to do things that are new. Watch them. Because then you can look back at yourself and say, you know, if my teacher can do things that are new and, and not give up and maybe not be perfect at it at first, but still give it a good shot, if they can do it, then I can do it. Okay. And finally, our character trait of the month is citizenship. Spread your awesomeness. That's really what it is. Know what groups you are and try to make it better. You want to leave the groups you join in a better place by the end of it all, right? So uh, you've come to Fort Zeller. By the time you leave Fort Zeller at the end of second grade, did you do something to make 
Fort Seller even better as a citizen of Fort Seller. Same thing with Elko. Well, same thing when you go to the intermediate school. By the time you're in fifth grade, yeah, I know some of you guys haven't even thought about fifth grade, but when you go to, when you leave fifth grade, are you going to have done something that made, made the in, intermediate school even better? Same thing with when you get to middle and high school. What are you going to do to make Pennsylvania better? What are you going to make to do, do to make our community better here as Americans? That's what citizen. That's the difference between good citizenship and bad citizenship. I love you just the way you are. I want you to hear it from somebody who means it. You need to hear it. I think every human being needs to know that they're loved. And a great way to do it is right here in the morning and hearing somebody like me who genuinely loves you for who you are. I love how you're growing. I love how you're changing. I love seeing you be respectful. I love seeing you be responsible. I love seeing you be ready. I love seeing you practice self-control. I love seeing you show good citizenship. So I love you just the way you are. I love that you make, you're so unique. I love that you make our group here at Fort Seller really, really cool. And if we didn't have you, we just wouldn't have that cool factor. So you're that important to us. So I can't wait to see you guys around. Have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. And um, make sure to find somebody and tell them you love them just the way they are too. Talk to you later.